Hey there, I'm Bill Shirk in with today's dialed in angling ice report. With sub zero temps in the forecast, we can finally start to transition away from ice reports and into fishing reports. Rapala Pro Nick Sakala is up in central Minnesota. Obviously, the ice on Mille Lacs is improving. What about a little bit further north? Places like Leech, Winnie, and Cass. You know, surprisingly, Bill, we're getting some really good ice starting to form um, Leech Lake. We're seeing anywhere from 9 to even 11, 12 inches every day. We're gaining ice like crazy with the sub zero temps. The bite is, uh, it's been pretty good, actually, Bill, for multi species. You know, you guys are getting walleye, pike, northern, you're seeing some white or ciscos, tuna bees. Um, still more of that peak feeding time um you know sunset and sunrise where they're getting the most action but anywhere on them break lines out on that that mid lake structure already you know it feels like it's uh kind of early ice but it is middle of the season so that the middle uh middle of the lake structure humps stuff like that are going to be your best bet for catching walleye dead sticks bull spoons uh roach spoons are all great options right now to get fish tipped with what Tipping them with a minnow head, um, you know, your tip-ups, if you can find shiners or small sucker minnows. Um, the tip-ups or the iFish Pro, they're just a great option because we still don't have much snow on the ice, but it's just something that gets away from you, keeps the noise down, and the fish aren't going to be spooked. Heading west, it's time to check in on South Dakota conditions with Strike Master Pro Marcus Quam. Marcus, pike, walleyes, or perch? Uh, we're seeing mostly walleyes right now, a few perch, few pike, but uh, walleyes have been strongest this last week. How deep are they right now? Uh, we're still fishing shallower, I would say. We're in the mid-teens on most of our stuff and some of these smaller basins before we get into the big lakes or main basin of the lakes right now. Um, we've been slowing down fishing more like tingler spoons or rattle spoons, that kind of thing. I mean, with the cold snap, these fish have slowed down just a little bit here, so we slowed down with them, fishing slower. And you said you still have a few areas where you still need to grow more ice. Yep, yep, we're uh, kind of got the snow bears on 10 to 13, but on some of these areas that were thin or were open, we're still cutting four to seven inches, so everything seems to be catching up pretty decent but we're still using caution on where we're going up on lake of the woods some pretty decent ice has a lot of people out hunting for fish brian beef sather joins us in the famous hat and the ice conditions there sound pretty good right now yeah we're doing really well up here on the ice making we have a uh, pretty good consistent ice that 12 to 16 inches but we do have spots with seven to nine inches causing a little bit of uh, anxiousness. That's why we're not allowing wheelhouses out yet. But uh, tell you what, the bite is phenomenal. The bowl spoon and the rattle and roach spoon are the ticket right now. Jig away and watch what happens. The fish are going nuts up here on Lake of the Woods. Do you have favorite colors? You're looking at them right there. <laughs> the pink and the perch. Anything pink, bold, or Bull is working great. Now on the roach spoon, everyone says the marabou moves, you don't necessarily need a minnow. Do you still tip it? I started tipping it, but then I went to the plane, just let the marabou dance. And then if you're fishing in the Rainier River, let the current do the work and watch what happens. Your your catch rate is going up. Great, great lure by Rappel VMC. Finally, a look at things over in Wisconsin. Captain Adam Rasmussen is keeping an eye on conditions. Sub-zero temps have finally gotten to Wisconsin. Yes, they have. It is uh, bitter cold out. We finally got the weather that we need to, uh, to start making some ice over here. The inland lakes are, are getting better. Now you can start traveling around on machines on most of those lakes. And we're finally starting to see ice on the Bay of Green Bay. Obviously, there's a lot of water. There's been a lot of wind with these frigid temperatures, so stuff is taking some time to freeze. However, a lot of the bays, like if you take Little Sturgeon, Riley's Bay, Sawyer Harbor, all the stuff up in Door County, um, those are all starting to freeze up. However, keep in mind whenever you're fishing up here, if this whole bay of Green Bay is not locked in, do not ever go across the crack, 
um, pay attention to the wind. If that wind blows out of the east, that can take all of our ice and blow it to the other side of the base. So use some common sense there if you're going to come over and, and poke around on the ice. But uh, conditions are, we finally have winter here, so super excited to see what happens in the upcoming weeks. Uh, stuff's finally starting to set up. That is some good advice, Captain. You know, back in the Twin Cities here in Minnesota, we finally also have ice starting to form. Smaller lakes people are getting out onto, and some of the bigger bodies of water, we are finally starting to see those lock up. Be sure you check with your local bait shop before you adventure out.